zoax.net. Lesson 1. Hello World. To follow along, you should have NetBeans and the JDK installed, as we showed in Lesson 0. To start, you should have the NetBeans IDE open. Then left-click File in the menu bar, and left-click New Project in the sub-menu. This will open the New Project dialog shown here. The project settings should look like this by default. If they do not, left-click Java under Categories, and left-click Java Application under Projects to change them. Then left-click the Next button to continue. This brings us to Step 2. We want to change the project name, so left-click the box next to Project Name and type in Java Lesson 1 as shown here. Notice that this changes the other entries automatically. Left-click the Finish button to create the project. This will take a few seconds. When it is done, you should see your project open in the NetBeans IDE. Left-click inside the Java Lesson 1.java pane under To Do Code Application Logic here. Type in this line of code so that it appears as shown here. Then left-click Run in the menu bar, and left-click Run Project Java Lesson 1 in the sub-menu. This will compile and execute the program, and you will see the message Hello World in the output pane. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to compile and execute a Java program. We will be using this same process to create projects in the upcoming videos. If you make an error in your code, NetBeans will alert you to it. For illustration, I will remove the L here. Now this command has a red squiggly line under it, and there is a stop sign where the line number should be. There is also a red line after the scroll bar here. You can put your mouse over any one of these, and you will see an error message as a tooltip. Again, for illustration, we can compile and run this erroneous program. Then we will see this dialog box warning us about the error. If we left-click Run anyway, we will see an error message in the output pane like this one. You can use these messages to find and fix simple errors in your code. 